Hello everybody, this is Mike, Smart Colloidal Silver, out in the apiary today, checking out the bees. All of the hives are doing well, haven't lost any this winter, touch wood on that. Anyway, since they're really busy today, I thought it'd be a good time to take a little video clip about how I use Smart Colloidal Silver in the apiary. I don't like to use any medications on my bees, anything that's not natural. Uh, since I'm in such a remote location out here on the homestead, I haven't really had any issues with Varroa mites. I check for them every year, but there's not any there to be concerned about. I have had a uh, one or two cases of Nosema, which you can spot by the bees out basically puking on the front porch. It's basically an upset stomach for bees. It's a, a fungal thing, that's what I understand. So anyway, this video is to share with you what I do. This is not a recommendation for what you should do. Uh, Colloidal silver is not approved by the FDA for use in feeding bees. I don't sell my honey. My honey is for my own personal use and making mead and things like that. So it's not really an issue. So I thought I would share what I do just for information purposes. But this is not a recommendation. But at any rate, when I had the Nosema, I put some smart colloidal silver, a half a teaspoon, in a gallon of feed. And I used the frame feeders, like the one that you see on top of the near hive, just beyond the bottle. And it holds about almost a gallon of feed and takes the place of one of the frames in the top box. So with a half a teaspoon and a gallon of feed it's enough that it takes care of the nosema in my experience of what I've done for my own personal use I'm not making any recommendations for anybody else and uh, it hasn't seemed to harm the hive at all. Uh, no diminishment of activity or brood or anything like that which is actually the real test of whether something's okay for a hive uh, unlike the FDA approved tests for bee compatibility which basically just test to see if whatever it is kills an adult bee with no consideration for what happens when it carries it back to the hive and feeds it to the larva. Of course, if the larva all die, the hive dies, and then whatever it was the FDA said was okay, uh, actually wasn't. So, at any rate, this is my experience, my practice, what I do, not a recommendation for nosema in the beehives in the apiary. It's a beautiful early January day up here in northeast Oklahoma and they all seem to be loving it, as am I. Hope you enjoy the video. Look forward to the next time. This is Mike at Smart Colloidal Silver. Have a good day.